Another big one. Whoa. Hey there, it's Fuller Farm down with the aquaponics and the rainbow trout. Right now I've got a pump in the water and I'm emptying it so I can replace the water. I've taken these guys off feed for a day. Just gonna put some clean water in and then continue to take them off feed so that I can prepare some of the big ones to harvest like that one. That's the biggest one, that dark one that went by. I've got my camera in my left hand and I've got my net in my right. And I want to try to get some of these big ones, which is kind of difficult with one hand, so I'll see what I can do. As you can see, they go bonkers when they see the net. There he is. Oh, right into the net. Nice. So this is, I think, about our biggest fish. There's a dark one and a light one that's pretty big. Let's get this trout. Whoa. You've been helping my plants grow. Whoa, getting the camera wet there. This guy's ferocious. Little rainbow trout. All right, I'll get you measured. Oh, it's a slippery fish. Real quick, whoa, Got the measuring tape. He's almost right at 12 inches, so this guy's ready to harvest. I'm going to put him in really quick and help him clean out the system for a couple days. Down here. All right. Back into the water. All right, I'm just going to catch one of these average size ones just to compare to that big one we caught. Really quick before this thing gets away. So this is about the average size, and it's probably, it's at least, whoa, watch out, watch out, watch out, 11 inches. I'm gonna throw it back real quick. As you saw, those things are slippery as snot. That gives you an idea, the biggest rainbow trout down there is about 12 inches, and middle of the road is 11. I'm not gonna take another one out, but those smaller ones, probably nine to 10 inches. So in six months, you know, they started from four to six inches, and now they are, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches. Pretty good growth. Again, these guys have been off feed for a day and I'm just gonna give them some extra clean water here in a second so that they can continue to clean out their systems before we harvest some of these big rainbow trout. Okay, we've got fresh water in there. The trout are happy and swimming around. We'll give it a couple days and then we'll harvest some of the big ones. The day is here. We're gonna take out probably the six biggest fish out of here. Put them over here into our ice, our ice water. All right, first catch of the day. Big one, whoa. It's about a 12 incher. I'm gonna take that one out, Ashlyn. Put it into the ice water. Just move the net so that it falls into the. Ah, oh. There it goes, into the ice water. I'm doing. One down. Another big one. You guys like fishing? Is it hard to catch fish in here? Yep. Woo. Number six. Whoa. Uh oh, get it, get it, get it. Get it. <laughs> ah. No, 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 no. Keep going here. <laughs> Woo. What the heck? This one is really pretty. Come down here. So let's see if we can show. This one is really pretty. All right, we've got six pretty good sized fish. Just to show you how pretty these fish are. That's why they call them rainbow trout. Woo, it's cold water. That one. Yep, you wanna try to touch it? 
bit slippery. Woo! It is slimy. Getting cold. It's gonna be dinner. We're gonna smoke these guys. All right, it's put it down. Slimy. All of put it. The rest of it. Look at these monsters. See the rainbow? All right, this is one of the two biggest. Let's see how long this guy is. Just about 12 inches. So we're just gonna gut these, we're gonna keep them whole. Here behind. Reach in and take out all of those intestines. And then just use the thumb, get all that blood off of the backbone. And I'm just going to cut the head all the way off. And then we just need to rinse it off, get all that blood out of there. All right, follow me over here. We've got a bucket of salt water that we're gonna use to brine all these fish. We got a few that are already done there. You killed him. I was gonna give him. All six trout are in our salt briny mixture here. If you look closely, you can see their nerves are still pumping through their bodies even though they're dead and obviously have, don't have their head. We're going to let them sit in the brine for a couple hours before we get the smoker going and get them smoked. Okay, it's been about three hours since the fish were in the salt brine. That's been emptied. They were rinsed off. And here they've been stuffed, you can see, with lemon slices and with dill. And these are ready to go. Okay, ugly drum smoker is going good. We got the cherry smoke coming out and I'm gonna get these rainbow trout on there. You have to put the camera down because I cannot do this with one. I got all six trout on the smoker. See all those lovely lemons. I put some extra ones in there just for fun. And we'll probably give it an hour and a half before we come and check to see how these lovelies are doing. Here's what our smoke trout looks like. Now it's actually just been an hour. So I'm gonna go and flip these guys. Time to check on the fish again. And these look great. One thing I realized I should have put oil on the outside of the skin so it doesn't stick so much to the grape. But otherwise it looks great. Here's a look. Here's our rainbow trout. See that skin just comes right off. It's kind of hot to handle though. Woo. It's hot. It's delicious and moist. See this 
All these bones just come right out. There's our six rainbow trout. All plucked from the bone and skins. This is all that's left. <laughs> 